Hello everyone. Um, I was going to make some bowl, not make some bowls. I'm going to underglaze some bowls today. And I thought, um, people have been asking me for more videos, um, sharing how I glaze these. Um, so I thought I'd do a video. Oh, you see my doggy in the background. That's little Archie. <laughs> they go, they go in and out so much. I just leave the door open. Hi, Archibald. Hi there. You come over and say hi. Come here, say hi. Come here. Come on. Oh, there he is. I'll let him say hi to everybody. Okay, say hi to everybody. Okay, all right. Mommy's gonna make a video. There's no food up here. Oh, okay. So, all right. <laughs> back, back to the video. Um. So anyway, so I'm gonna glaze some bowls. So I thought I'd share my process. Um. Let me show you what. I wish I was better at making videos, but I'm not. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> so these are the glazes I use. They're Amico Velvets. And I just have them in a bead container. You know. Um, I do a video actually on... Um, ah, I do a video on how I make that. Um, I put silicone under each divider. But then someone told me they found them at Walmart already sealed at the bottom. So that's what I would suggest, but this works fine, fine for me. So, um, all right, let's see if I can make this work. Alrighty, so I am, I bisque my pottery first, and then I do the underglazes on it. I don't, I don't like to do it on the greenware because I've broken it before. Um, when you're trying to wipe it off, it kind of mixes in with the clay and. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't prefer that, but a lot of people do. A lot of people like it. Um, I saw a little, little thing I got to sand off. Just wet it down and there we go. Okay. Just wet the spot down and then sand it. I always try to sand the bottoms. Anyway, so this is, um, standard 266 clay. So this will this will fire very dark, very dark brown, and then I put a slip that I made on the inside. Now, I don't, I'm not an expert on slips, and I bought standards um, cone five six stoneware slip, and that works great. This um, I made at a studio where I teach, and my mistake was I made the slip out of stoneware that had grog in it. So if you can see, I don't know the camera probably won't pick that up. Um, there you go. See the little specks? So it's not, it's not really smooth. It's not as smooth as I like it. Um, so, so don't do that. If you're making your own slip, let me try to move that back a little bit. My big hand in the way. Um, so yeah, so if you're making your own slip, make sure you don't make it with uh, stoneware that has grog in it or clay that has grog in it. And I would suggest, um, you know, just, you can use any clay you want to make slip. Um, I think it's important that whatever the clay body is, if this is cone six, then your slip should be cone six. Um, otherwise it doesn't matter as far as the color goes. But anyway, so I love the dark clay. And I thought, um, I like the white contrast. I saw some other potters um, doing that. And I thought, oh, I'd give it a try. Because I like to paint in mine. So anyway, so let's get started here. So, enough with, enough with the chit-chat, right? <laughs> let's see here. So here's my glazes. I've got brushes and all of them. And... When I'm done at the end of the day, I always just, you know, I spray, spray a little water in there. And that's usually, keeps them good enough. I never empty them out or anything. So, okay. So what should I do? That's the hardest part is trying to decide what you're going to do. So I think I'm just going to put my usual, like kind of flower in here. So I'll draw... Just kind of do, let me put some, 
water a little closer. I don't want to can't block that the water out here because I like to water it down a little bit. But you got to be um, kind of careful about watered down too much because at cone five six it will it will burn out. So let's see. I think I'll do purple. Do some purple flowers. I need another brush in there. I just use um, cheap brushes from Hobby Lobby or somewhere. There are brushes that are made for um, acrylic or watercolors. So I just I, and I and I just um, freehand it. And I'll come back and add more color later. Look how pretty that white shows up on the, um, how pretty the purple shows up on the white. So I kind of get my petals to where I know I want them. Then I come back. And I go over them. So now, I'm not, I don't know if I'm liking all these brushes in here. Yeah, a little bit of water, just because these have been sitting out all day. I just want to add a little bit of blue. I don't like when um, when you just use one color. And then um, it just kind of, the colors kind of show up flat. So I like to add more than one color. I like it. Oh, this one. All these brushes are bugging me. <laughs> I gotta get some of these out of here. Okay. So let's see what else I got here. Okay. So I've got a little bit of purple over here too, light purple. I don't know if you can see that, but. So it makes a little bit of the light purple here with the blue and the dark purple. It's almost, uh, it almost looks kind of pink against that dark purple. But what's amazing is sometimes, you know, you think you're putting all these colors in, and then sometimes they just, they just burn out in the kiln. 
greens like to turn brown so you, you got to really layer on the greens good um, let's see I don't know I don't hmm I don't know what other color I want to put in here. Um, I've got a light blue here. This, this is uh, turquoise. So that looks pretty. That looks really pretty with the Probably can't see that too well yet. And then your leaves look kind of um, more three-dimensional. They have uh, more depth, you know, the more, the more color. And you can get carried away and add too much color, obviously. Um, If you can see that, I don't know. Can you? It, it doesn't show up very well in the camera, unfortunately. But um, that does look really pretty. So, um, okay. So I'm going to add a little, more, a little bit more of this yellow, and I want it to kind of mix. So I'm going to add some water down here. And just kind of dab this yellow on, dab a little orange on, because like I said, I wanted to kind of mix. And then, hmm, I think I, you know, I think I'll do purple around the edges. Just kind of dab some purple dots, and then I can outline those later with black and let's see I think I might even put just a little bit of yellow down here uh, sometimes I you know I add the colors and then I don't like them and then I go back and paint over them but I don't know I don't know hmm what do you think there we go I think I'm gonna water them down just a little bit <laughs> it's so hard to decide Well, that it's got a lot of color on it. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the purple to the tips because that's kind of what color it started out as, right? That way, the leaf won't look the whole leaf or the petal, I should say, doesn't look all the same color, and then. I will, um, of course, outline this with black liner. Uh, I just think um, it makes it pop, makes the colors pop when you outline it. Okay. I don't know. Is that too wild? I'm not sure I like that. Hmm. Maybe I'll um, go over a little bit with, see, if you don't like it, you can always go over a little bit with, what's I going to do? I don't like the yellow. Something about that yellow just doesn't, doesn't, I don't know, not liking it. So if you're not liking it, just kind of go over it a little bit. You can, you can, you know, you don't want, you don't want to get it 
too thick because um, then it can it can pop off you know um, it doesn't um, I think that'd be pretty it's got a lot of colors you can see that um, I think I'm gonna add a color to the um, the purple I might add a little bit of this blue um, sometimes if the colors get too thick, I've heard, I, I've never had it happen, but the colors, uh, peel off, you know, the kiln, in the kiln, but I, of course that is not, the people I hear talk about that, um, it is not, um, Amico Velvets, it's another brand. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of this uh, blue with the white just to tone down. There we go. And then uh, just a little more yellow. I've got a couple, couple yellows here, real bright yellow. And then... Um, um, kind of a sunflower yellow. And then I'm going to put a couple leaves in here. Petals, or not petals. Leaves, leaves, I guess. I'm concentrating on painting and not concentrating on what I'm saying. Ay, ay, ay. So it's good to try and put an odd number of leaves. It just it helps um, balance it out more. So it's painting on pretty well over this kind of rough surface. I know the um, the the black liner will probably be a little bit more, not quite as uh, sharp, but that's okay. And I'm going to actually write words in here at the rim. <laughs> Those won't be very sharp either, but you know, that's okay. So what I was saying before is that some of this brown, um, I mean, some of this green can burn out brown. So I'm going to add a little bit of the chartreuse green over the top help brighten it up a little bit and then um, add a little more green over that I want to make sure that it's not going on watery at all because I I do not want my leaves burning brown and I haven't had it happen in a long time but like I said um, I used to water them down more when I used them and <clears throat> I don't water them down too much anymore. In fact, it's kind of nice when they're, where the, when they're in this tray because um, they can um, dry out a little bit and they actually get a little bit more potent. Oh, shoot. Now I just need a brown. Get that out of there. I want to go over the... I don't know if I'm liking those leaves. See those leaves? Uh, they're too, are they, the color's too wild? Maybe not. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, I am going to put a little heart at the top. Let's see. I'll put a little heart right here. Oh, this brush is terrible. I hate when the stuff gets down in the brush. You know, the little, I guess, particles of the glaze in your, your brush. Um, they start spreading apart. 
I should probably change brushes, but I think I can do it with this one. junk brush <laughs> that's because I'm I'm really bad about leaving my brushes in the glazes like I think these sat in here overnight <laughs> so they really don't you know don't do that if you value your brushes all the, all the paint has fallen off the uh, off the handles. <laughs> it's hard when the bowls have these high sides because you can't get your hand you can't get your hand at it. I, I got big hands. They always say I got my dad's hands. My dad was a carpenter. I guess it was good for him. My papa. Yeah, so there's a little heart. Okay. Two things. Junk, 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 junk. I might have to. I don't know. I might have to toss that one. I don't know. I can save it. Okay. Let's see. Get my Oh yeah, I want to um I always put leaves on the outside of the bowl. Now, I just remembered when you're on when you're when you're painting on this dark clay, it really helps to um paint white first, white under glaze. And the rest of this, uh, you see like this white, um, I don't know what, I don't know really what's that, what that is from. Probably when I trim the pot and add water to it, I don't know, it turns the, the dark clay kind of light, but that will all burn off. So when this comes out of the kiln, It'll be a very dark brown clay. None, none of that will be there. Okay, so put down the white first. And that just helps um, this green to show up better. I don't try to get too picky with these. Um, boy, this brush is really gooped up. <laughs> That's what I get for leaving them in there so long. Not what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to go over these twice. So these really have the white layer, a couple layers of green, so it's on nice and thick. Um, and then I'm going to take some yellow. Ah, too, ah. That's too bright. Too bright. Don't, don't like that. Clean off some of these brushes. Oh goodness, I gotta really scrub them because they got all this dried, <laughs> dried glaze on them. Okay, so I'm gonna take the softer yellow. This is really, um, like I said, I call it sunflower yellow, but I think it's the bright yellow and add, I just add a little bit of brown to it. And on the dark brown clay, the yellow just helps it the leaves pop a little bit too. So, okay. And then I'm going to put, um, 
put a couple leaves in the bottom. I didn't do my white first, did I? See, I can't, I can't think and paint at the same time. I can't, I'm not very good at doing two things at one time. Put some yellow on there. The yellow will help it pop. There we go. Maybe I'll take a little bit of chartreuse. It's pretty thick. I should probably add just a little bit of water to that. That is really thick. So put a little bit of... There we go. Add a little bit of water. There we go. That's got a lot of layers now, so that should not burn out. Let me see, I don't think. Yeah, that's underglaze. So some of the white spots might be underglaze. I don't know how I wipe these bowls down first. But the underglaze will not burn off probably, so you gotta make sure it's not underglaze. Okay. Just put all my towels in the in the laundry. <laughs> Should have brought some towels back. Okay, so I think I'll let that dry, and then I'll go ahead and start uh, underlining the inside. Put my pin in a safe place. Just make sure you check, shake it up good. This is um, I use a Zyam applicator. I believe this is number twenty. I just did a video um, how to load these. And I leave this in here all the time. I never empty it. I just make sure I put the pin in it and I store it upside down so that the, the glaze does not dry out in the tip. So, okay, so I'm gonna write um, the word love. And it's gonna be, you know, it is what it is. It's not going to be perfect because, ah, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to be perfect because the uh, it's so scratchy. And then I'm going to do food. The trick is to not press too hard food and then um, hmm, love food share maybe maybe I'll do share I don't want to put any controversial words right <laughs> I don't know what that would really be but there we go now let's do my squiggly lines. This is like, you know, I always think about, um, you know, if you're in the hospital, the heart monitor. <laughs> it's a good thing if it's going up and down, right? <laughs> and I put a couple dots. just to keep it interesting. And then I'm gonna outline this heart. So, okay, so there's the, there's the heart and you can see the, the words. I know they're probably backwards on here. It makes it hard to Actually, read on the E's not the best on there, but you know what? And food. Looks like foob. Looks like foob on here, doesn't it? Because it's backwards, but 
Okay, so now let's outline the flower. Let's see if I can bring it in a little bit closer here. How's that? There, you gotta get my hand out of the way. That's a little too close, isn't it? Okay. And if your tip clogs up, I just keep a sponge nearby. wipe it off on here. Move this back just a little bit. I'm thinking you're not even getting the whole bowl. I need a cameraman. That's what I need, right? <laughs> this thing is just not... Sorry about all the moving around. Hope you're not getting dizzy. water down my underglaze a little bit this black um, you just have to kind of be careful there's a you know there's a little perfect spot where if it's too thick it, it globs up and it's really hard to to use um, and if it's too thin it's gonna run out of your bottle and you don't you don't want it if it if you turn it upside down and it's dripping out it's too thin just empty it out squeeze it back out and add a little bit more um water i mean <laughs> add a little more underglaze that doesn't have the water in it okay so there's that let me see the whole bowl So, let me, uh, I'm not quite done though. Let's see. Oops. You're not done yet, Lisa. I'm getting near, I think I've got a little over 750 subscribers so far. I need, I need a thousand to, um, monetize it you know to add some because right now i think they add i think they add commercials to my videos but i don't you know i have nothing to do with that but but if you'd like to subscribe i'd appreciate it And you gotta be careful um, too, like when you're put when I'm putting this black on. This is another reason why it's good to water it down, is because um, when you put the clear over the top, if the black glaze is too thick, it'll absorb like the clear. So there you go. So now I'll let this dry. And um, I will add the clear to it. When, as soon as it's dry, I'll add the clear. Um, right now, I just mixed up a whole batch of clear. I'm waiting for it to 
um, it's good to let it sit for 24 hours, let all the particles um, absorb the moisture, and then I'm going to stir it again, and I'm going to clear probably tomorrow. But um, So yeah, I will clear all this, and you just want to make sure you use a zinc-free clear. Um, zinc can interfere with some of your underglazes. So it's just it's just best to use a zinc free clear and not have to worry about it. I got my door standing open. I hope I have some I can hear the hummingbirds out there. They fight over the feeder out there. Hopefully none sneak in here. I love I love feeding the hummingbirds. But we, you know, we live near some wood, so we have snakes go by too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I posted I don't know if it's still up there or not. I posted a picture, I think, on my Instagram page. I came home one day and these two snakes were being very friendly. Um <laughs> They were on top of one of these, uh, we have these Rubbermaid sheds out there to keep, you know, store stuff in. And they were up there just uh, having fun. <laughs> so I just put, you know, keep it interesting. It's nice to put something on the bottom. And then there's the, and there's the inside. Let me hold this before. It... So then this will, when this gets fired, it will, um, ah. Just bump that. It'll be pretty much the same as what you see here. Some colors may burn out a little bit, but um, hopefully they don't. And I'm going to do another bowl. I'll make another video of a different flower. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.